Nature Boy has been sentenced and he has been sentenced to life in prison without the eligibility of parole plus 10 years. So just in case he was thinking about getting out of after his life sentence, even though he's uneligible for parole, they put the plus 10 years on to his sentence as well. So it looks like Nature Boy will be spending the rest of his life behind bars. Now, even after he had been sentenced, to life in prison, it was very shocking to see that he still tried to give somewhat of a positive message. Direct it to me, please, not to I'll, I'll direct it to you, I'll direct it to you. Okay. <clears throat> Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm not answering any questions of yours, mister. I forgive you, I forgive you, and I still love you. I forgive you, and I still love you. I got no, nothing in my heart. I'm not mad at you. I'm not upset with you. I forgive you. I want you to know I still love you and forgive you. And kiss my baby girl as I know I love her. And I love y'all. I will never, I don't, I don't have no, I promise you, you know how I am. In my heart, you know how I am. I still love you. I still love you. I still love you. All right. I still, I got that. I don't hate them. Okay. No hate. Is there anything else? My heart light. Light as a feather. I promise you I love you and I'm still here. I ain't, I ain't miss one lick. I see what y'all doing and I want you to know I forgive you. And I see y'all in the end. Alright, thank you. I love you. But I think that we all know by now that even though he puts out a positive message, he is not all about positivity. So, yea, though he walks through the valley of the shadow of death, even though he has been sentenced to a lifetime of prison, it seems like he is in good spirits. So why is he in such good spirits? Could it be because he considers this to be all an illusion? Isn't that what some of his teaching was? That we are really living in an illusion? So even though his body will be locked up behind bars, will his mind be somewhere else? Well, anyway, this is one of his teachings, but I don't know if I can buy into that because Grace did mention that even when they was in Costa Rica at the beginning, he was beating up on Yaya. So in the beginning, women felt like they had the need to escape from carbonation. And even though that they was given this illusion that they could live off the land, it seems like they was given the impression that they was living for free you know, fruits would just fall on the ground. You could just pick up the fruits and eat for free. Well, over in Babylon, you got to pay for everything. Come to find out they was paying for stuff. Because Flo had given him about $300,000 that they blew through. And they was riding over there in Costa Rica on dirt bikes, living in the middle of nature. So it seems like the message was flawed from the beginning. Even though they would put up a good front, it seems like there was a flaw and what they was teaching. Many people was patiently waiting to see them grow their own food to be self-sufficient, but that never happened. You're trying to get away from Babylon. Why was you asking money, donations from the people in Babylon? So even though it was an interesting concept, it was a good concept. It seems like they were not living the life that they was preaching about. So it looks like all of those lies that they was putting out there, the lies have caught up there with them. Remember Solar said, understand that they knew that some of the stuff that they was putting out there was just a bunch of lies. And Nature Boy had to know that there was rules and regulations that he needed to follow because he had been kicked out of the foreign countries because he was not following the rules and regulations. And even one time, I recall, he was locked up and the members was in desperate need of getting him out and they managed to get him out of that situation. So you would have think that he would have changed his ways after he was locked up over there in that foreign country. I don't remember what the name of it was. And then he came back to what he called Babylon. He should have known that they have rules in Babylon as well. Really, if you wanted to get away from the rules, why did you live in Decatur? Why didn't you live in some other little bitty town where you could live in the woods, you know, like a find a house out in the woods where you could put up your tents like you did in Costa Rica, you know? Well, you guys would constantly say that you were out there in your tents. It seems like you had got so far away from the message that you was at least preaching. I made it look like the rules that you were following. But you did say that there was no more nature boy and that you were now the three God. And once you became three God, it seems like nobody could check you. As it says, saying goats who gonna check me boo. Nobody was checking nature boy that was in the cult.
So it had to be Babylon that finally checkmated on Nature Boy. Seems like he wanted to live in the heart of Babylon, but he did not want to follow the Babylon rules. And by him being so conscientious and he's supposed to be the higher self and he's supposed to be such an intelligent being, it seems like he did not put that intelligence to use. So now Nature Boy is locked up for a lifetime. Now it seems like he did enjoy his life while he was out there. He was over there in Costa Rica jumping off the waterfalls and doing a lot of different things. But he had so much life ahead of him. Now he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. For him to be such a smart, conscientious man, it didn't seem like that was such a smart move. How can you love yourself and let yourself get in this predicament? So this is what is going on. The victim did her impact statement. One of the most compelling impact statement came from True's wife. We never knew that things were such in dire straits for her. We never knew that she felt like her life was pretty much in danger and that Nature Boy had told her that the world does not really care about brown skinned women that if something was to happen to her and she would happen to be unalive that nobody would care about her this is very shocking to hear because one of his first messages was is that the black woman is God and now how do you go from talking about the black woman is God till nobody cares about her even if she happens to come up unalive and being able, and the feeling of being able to hurt us at any moment. He said that if he, no one would know or care. So I push myself every day to stay on my best behavior in order to survive because my son needed a mother and I didn't want to die. He put it always seemed to be another excuse to why we needed to be, be abused that he called discipline. He told us that we were doing it to ourselves and if we ever questioned him, he made sure that we would never think to do that again. And he made an example out of us. So these cults are not always what they seem to be. People only put out there what they want you to see. Because when they put out those videos, all we heard were positive messages about Nature Boy from the members of the cult. Seems like some of them were afraid to put out any other messages, especially the women. So it seems like once the women started having children, it seems like they could not bear the cold anymore. The only one that was able to successfully stay there was Kendra and kind of find out she was afraid for her life at times. And so appears that this is what happened when you ignore the signs. Like Grace said, probably a lot of people seen what happened to Yaya, but they thought that it could not happen to them. And it seems like this in cult, this cult was intolerant of children. I remember young our lady went there and she had a child and um, they was upset because the child would not stop crying. And we all know that this is what children do when they get irritated. They will start crying. And it seems like Tori found it difficult to live there once she had her child. This is when Velvet started having issues once she had her child. And then it seems like you would hear about a lot of the women getting pregnant, but we never saw any of the children being delivered so i think that velvet was very lucky as far as true's wife she was very lucky as well and we knew that there was something crazy going on when he would tell um a lot of the more recent members that they needed to leave their children behind and he referred to their children as attachment referred to their families as attachment attachment as if they weren't even human so we never knew what some of these women was going through. And then True's wife, she gave that impact statement. And we was like, oh my goodness. It was very shocking to see that these people were testifying against Nature Boy. These same people that used to say all those positive things about him when they were in the cult. But it appears that a lot of them were under duress when they were saying all these positive things. And like the expert on the cult had said, he gave a testimony that a lot of people have to leave at least seven times before they can escape from the cult completely. They be so brainwashed that they cannot truly escape. It takes them a long time to free their mind from the situation. 
And I was watching a live of Grace and her husband Quetzo. He was saying that they were shocking that it ended like this because they was expecting that maybe somebody would have unalive Nature Boy. Maybe he would have got into a fight or something like that. They did not expect it to end like this because guess what? Nobody expected any ex-members of the cult to come in and testify against Nature Boy. It seems like they were finally able to leave the cult long enough that they were able to be deprogrammed and they were able to come back and they were able to find their voice and testify against Nature Boy. A lot of people had their doubts that the victim would even take the stand and testify against this man. We couldn't believe it until we actually seen it. And also it was very shocking, very surprising to see that his two right hand men testified against him as well. We were not expecting that. But a lot has happened since he has been locked up in that jail cell. So anyway, this is what is going on. Nature Boy has been sentenced to life in prison. And without the eligibility of parole, if life in prison was not good enough, they added on 10 years. Plus, he's not going to be eligible for parole. But even though he seems to be sentenced to life in prison, he seems to be unbothered. I guess the American jail is different from the foreign jail because they did everything that they could to get him out of that foreign jail. But I guess they say um, they just have to wait for appeal now because and how long does the appeal process take? I think it takes about 10 years, but they have to be able to afford an appeal as well is what I'm thinking. So it is goodbye to Carbonation. Carbonation, who was one while they was claiming to be our higher self. And we find out that that was not the case. And one of their favorite sayings was, I love myself. So it appears that this is was one flaw of um, LGO. Even though he's claiming to love everybody, it seems like he loved himself more than anything else. Which is nothing wrong with loving yourself, but you have to be considerate of other people as well. So anyway, these are my thoughts and opinions. So everything is allegedly. Let me know what you think about the entire situation. Make sure you leave a comment below. Like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Liz keeping up with the biz and I am out. It's Liz with the biz. 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 Yo, this is Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. Telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real. Cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the biz.